What is going on guys, my name is Bryce and today we're checking out the Polyalchemy Elixir Natural Blend. After receiving this uh, this specific roll of uh, the uh, Elixir Natural Blend, uh, I was at a glance quite impressed about the plastic. Um, the, this filament actually had a really really nice shine to it, um, and it, it, it's it's actually a really nice sort of pearlescent white color. Um, but a massive downfall I noticed as soon as I pulled this back out of the box was just the winding on the actual filament onto the, the spool. It, uh, it looked quite messy um, and I can understand that being the fact that it is made in China but it, it just looked it looked really really messy um, as well as I did notice that the, the filament itself actually kind of was bent a little bit like it, it wasn't like a regular straight spool of filament it was the filament was quite bendy um, or had a lot of curves in it rather than a regular filament that normally has the one gradual curve obviously being the fact that it's on a spool but not like it was a it was the opposite direction to a spool it was quite quite awkward um, but I did find that it was uh, not much of an issue for extruding um, I did have my extruder gear actually grind down on this a few times but nothing overly major to cause too much of an issue. Uh, so when I printed this uh, this filament and actually tried out against other filaments, um, I was quite impressed actually. Um, this filament leaves a really really nice shine on actual parts, um, and you can well if if your printer is not super dialed in perfectly like mine is. Uh, you will see a few little artifactings in the uh, in the final result, being that this is a white, uh, very pearlescent, very uh, shiny sort of plastic. You'll notice that, uh, that you can really notice um, Z action or um, Z movements uh, in the actual final print. But um, I also found that it doesn't string too much. Um, I've actually got. Uh, this was printed in Colorfab Leaf Green PLA uh, at identical settings to this uh, to this this piece over here, which is the uh, the Poly Elixir or the yeah, Poly Alchemy Elixir uh, Natural Blend, which had no stringing at all out of the uh, out of the extruder or the hot end, I should say. Whereas the Colorfab it, it quite actually strung quite a lot. Um, in terms of actually doing everything, um, it was uh, quite an interesting feat actually going through and removing these from the heat bed though. So normally with the fact that I print on a glass heat bed, uh, normal PLA is self-release off the glass once it cools down quite easily. My Poly Alchemy Elixir actually decided that it was going to glue itself very very strongly to the heat bed and I actually had to get prying tools out to actually get these parts off the heat bed after they would finished printing even though it's a PLA blend and it normally does just snap straight off the bed. So in terms of bridging of, uh, of the actual plastics in this, um, I did find that the, uh, the Elixir blend, it, it didn't like to bridge that much. Um, I have several here that I've printed at different layer heights and stuff like that but I had uh, a couple that broke due to bad extrusion, um, very sad, but they had very bad bridging problems um, due to some extrusion issues. Um, some of them, like this one here that was printed at 0.3 layer height, uh, this one it had better bridging than uh, the one here at 0.2 layer height. But this one had an overall higher print quality, obviously being the fact of the higher resolution. But I did find that even though these left small holes left in the top of the layers, um, something like the uh, this this orange translucent has zero holes on the top. Um, it's actually a very very nice looking uh, crystal there. This one also had some under extrusion issues but also lots of stringing, but there was absolutely no 
uh, no no holes left in the top of the the part and uh, very similar with the green as well this one had a few very very small pinholes but nothing compared to the amount that was left on these uh, elixir parts and I did actually um, end up printing a couple more parts but uh, they, they kind of got a bit damaged so I won't bother pulling them out but they they did actually bridge really really well due to the fact of adding a little bit more of extrusion multiplier onto this particular filament due to the fact that it, it has some weird uh, some weird artifacting and stuff like that in the filament itself. In terms of finding some weird weird things that was going on with this uh, this particular filament, um, I, something I've never seen before is when I primed my nozzle, so I heated it up to uh, 220 degrees and removed the old filament, which at this point was uh, black X3D uh, PLA, very cheap blend, but very very good quality plastic. Um, and it, it did some weird foaming effect, uh, you could say. Um, normally when you prime your, your nozzle, because uh, once I put the, the filament back into the nozzle, um, I normally make my extruder extrude about, say, about 100 millimeters or so of filament to sort of purge out any crap that's going to get stuck to the filament as it prints, so that, you, especially in something like printing a white filament, being that then that's what the natural blend is, is the white filament and had previously having a color or a black filament into the nozzle it will either darken or actually print parts of black into the print which is obviously not what I wanted I wanted to get the actual filament working properly so I had to purge it and I found that it sort of expanded once it was printing and I'm not entirely sure whether that's something to do with the pearlescent shine that obviously is an additive to the PLA mixture to obviously make it pearlescent or the fact that it's something else but I've never seen this issue with any other filament but this one that has just got a foamed up and expanded to I think about it looked about three times the size um, that it should be coming out of the nozzle so it was it comes out of a 0.4 millimeter nozzle looked like it was coming out about 1.2 ish millimeters thickness as just sort of a glob rather than coming through as a solid uh, coming through as a solid actual bit of plastic. In conclusion, I'd have to say that the Polyalchemy Elixir is a very very nice filament. Um, it prints really well uh, for the most part. Um, it was super fast shipping. Um, other than that, like there's a few like you have to mess around with your settings and stuff like that to really dial it in really well. It's not like just to whack it on a normal setting and uh, go go for gold. But other than that, the, uh, the this this uh, Poly Alchemy Elixir Natural Blend uh, is very very nice. It prints really well. It has really high quality parts that come out of it. And other than that, um, I'll uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys later. I'll uh, make sure to link down the uh, Poly Alchemy guys down in the, the description in case you guys want to buy some of their filament for yourself.